peppers up front, sweet pickles in There's no way to make this not sound tawdry. Full warning, stuff gets weird at about the two and a half minute mark. You know, like when you're playing Tetris and you're waiting for that one long skinny block to come down and solve six rows of problems all at once. I had some energy and I ran with it. I had a whole bunch of beautiful cucumbers that I'd brought out of my garden, about two and a half pounds. I needed to get them pickled up quick. But that mission got a little bit superseded by the fact that I ran into some Hatch chili peppers. As I was editing, I realized I had two stories. So here's the scoop. Front end of this, you're gonna catch us roasting some Hatch chilies. Occasionally I mention pickles that are also happening. I'll fill you in on the pickles stuff at the end. What I'm saying is that this episode will be in two acts. Good morning, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we're here in Growing Zone 6B in New England. It is nine o'clock in the morning, which means it's time to grill those hatch chilies that I got a bunch of the other day. Look at these beauties. So I don't know if you know, but these are the best chilies. They come from Hatch, New Mexico, and they're only grown there, only in season for like a handful of weeks. So when I saw these at the grocery, I was like, oh my, yes, come home with me. Diced green chilies are a thing that I do not like to run out of. We're gonna make some ourselves for the pantry shelves. Oh my gosh, I'm super excited about this. So we're gonna start by grilling these things. You can see they've gotten nice and blistered on the one side. It just took a couple of minutes. Like, really, I walked around the side and checked the tomatoes, and dude, they were done. Keeping track of them and flipping them as we need to. These folks are nice and blistered, and they should be easy to peel once they have sweated for a bit. I wish you could smell this. This is amazing. Mmm, roasty. And like that concentrated pepper smell. Mm, so excited about these. I'm gonna put this plate on top of this, keeping as much of that nice damp heat as possible. My kitchen is a mess. You deserve an explanation. Tell me you have ADHD without telling me you have ADHD. Let's us, you and me, discuss how we got here. It started with a pickle recipe. This pickle recipe, which is actually like four pickle recipes. I never know what mood I'm gonna be in when I'm making sweet pickles. So I kind of cobble them together. Just make sure that the sugar and the acid are in the right ratio. Because if you don't, it'll spoil and that, that sucks. So I was looking for the pickle recipe and all the pickle recipes called for turmeric. And then I couldn't find the turmeric. I, I took everything out of the spice trolley. It was super dirty. You know what happens when you leave spices out in the open near the oven, you know. I'm finding that my rhythms have me doing a whole lot of nothing for days and then suddenly springing into action as, as though I deserve a cape and getting a whole bunch of things done. Inevitably, in the middle of that wave of getting things done, there's a moment when I look around me and I'm like, oh, I replanted a plant. Two, in fact. Washed some glass, went to the grocery store, got ginger and a red onion. I noticed my vinegar had turned kind of suspicious looking. And then I had to Google my vinegar grew a scoby. But Siri tells me it's cool. I brought the jars up from the basement, but I had to empty the dishwasher to put the jars in it. Also, there's dinner tonight, which required a marinade. So I did a marinade and then the sink happened. Can I give you my very best kitchen hack for pickling day? Um, get you a bus bucket. The sink will be filling up with stuff over the course of the day and not just stuff from canning. And I can't put any of that into the dishwasher yet because the dishwasher is full of my sterilized jars. So what I'm gonna do is just gather up the stuff into the bus bucket, tuck it out of the way, and then when everything's done and I'm washing up, I can just wash up the stuff from the bus bucket. So anyway, I found what I was looking for. Turmeric. And I've got it all set up. I've also got these beautiful hatch chilies. 
they smell fantastic. So we grilled these up and got them all blistery and then I sat and watched TV and peeled them. Got clean sterilized jars in there ready to go. The chilies are going in the pressure canner and the pickles are going on the water baths. I think I'm going to get my hat's chilies all chopped up. Uh, they're looking good. I've got them flattened out. They've drained. No more seeds. Pro tip, get the seeds off by just giving them a dunk and a swish into a little bowl of warm water. So I'm just going to chop them up in a good dice and get them ready to go. These are the cute little jars that I am planning to pack my peppers in. These are one cup. I'm going to lay these flat in a layer just to make cutting them easier. I just found out in a very direct way that not every one of these peppers is actually as mild as advertised. So now that I've got them all kitchen chopped, I'm going to make sure I mix them together really well so that that heat spreads across the whole batch. I feel like I might get four jars out of this. Uh, I'm trying to leave about an inch headspace. What? Can you hear this cat down here at my feet? He making sounds. Yes. And this is a lot of chilies. I mean, this is a whole cup of chilies, which would be great for like a dinner entree maybe. I like eating the, the jar full over the span of a week. You know, a little bit in my eggs, a little bit on a burger, a little bit on a sandwich. I know you heard this kettle boiling in the background. I'm gonna add a splash to each of these and debubble and then adjust to correct the headspace. Oh, yeah, see, I'm gonna have to add some more water. Every time I'm adding water to these, I'm gonna debubble, every time. Okay. Wound up adding a quarter teaspoon of salt to every one of these jars. It's gonna make a nicer finished product. Okay, again, and I've said this before, I'm using my trusty carry pressure canner over here. It's also, I think the other brand name it goes under is Nesco. And what I'm not gonna do is justify why I choose it. I understand some people have feelings about electric pressure canners. I am not going to engage in that. We're all loaded up. Put this to vent. Closed, locked. That's gonna process for 35 minutes. I'm gonna go get some stuff taken care of. And by taking care of and some stuff, what I truly mean is I need to put this kitchen back together. I'll see you in a little bit. First cans of hatch chilies are in the books. I'm totally looking forward to eating these like with everything, my friend. I also have a whole bunch of tomatillos in my freezer from last year. Oh my God, I might be planning a frittata. And so onward, beyond here, my friend, lie pickles. I'm doing some bread and butters that I do every year, just a little bit different. Coming along. This is the part when I have to step back, take a deep breath. I feel like I got myself into. And remind myself that we're at the top of the roller coaster now. There's nothing we can do. Let's just keep going. For a full batch, you'd use five pounds of cucumbers, an onion, and toss it together with a tray of ice cubes and a, like a teaspoon of salt and let that sit for a while, run the dishwasher. And by the time the dishwasher is ready, you can take that stuff out of the fridge. The brine always stays basically the same for these. It's, it's five cups of apple cider vinegar, five cups of sugar, 
and then mustard seed, celery seed, turmeric. They're gonna be super garlicky because this beautiful garlic that I grew, y'all, they may have been puny, but the cloves inside were not. In the bottom, I've got black peppercorns, a half teaspoon of pickle crisp because these are pint jars, and two to three cloves of garlic. I figured since it was a half batch, I'd just double up on the garlic cloves. As well as a Thai chili pepper from, I think this batch was 2019. So I'm gonna pack these as tightly as I can. When you put these in here, you wanna get them in, you know, fairly tight. The rest of the space will be filled up by the brine, but if you put them in here nice and tight, they won't float up to the top. In the end, we got four jars. They looking good. I'm gonna ladle some hot brine over them. It's been simmering here for a bit. When you've got sugar in whatever you're bringing to a boil, bring it up slowly so the sugar doesn't have a chance to scorch on the bottom. Oh my God, that was so hard to say. I put whole hot peppers in the jar and I put pepper flakes in the brine. So I'm expecting these to be some rather fiery pickles gonna get in here and debubble and see that oh a lot of air came out of that these ones will add some more brine to I'm gonna leave a half inch headroom on these guys a little bit of white vinegar on a paper towel I'm just making sure everything is nice and clean That's gonna process in the water bath for 15 minutes and then we'll take it out and let it cool. Our pickles came out great. I'm totally excited. Um, they have the, the beautiful golden color from the turmeric. The red onions still show through quite well. I'm gonna get these downstairs and onto a shelf in the basement alongside these hatched chilies that we've got now. I got four jars of the pickles and I got five jars of the hatched chilies. Thank you so much for hanging out during my chaotic good day. Oh, catch you up soon. Take care. I have like half the pickles recipe worth of cucumbers.